Hey, what's up guys? I'm in Hong Kong's Soho at this place called Little Bao. Little Bao. Not Big Bao, Little Bao. If you don't know what a Bao is, typically, you know, a Bao in Chinese terms is a round, white, uh, sort of little sweet bread. So if you heard about the Bao, like maybe in uh, New York or LA or San Fran, it's usually these uh, soft, round, foldy things and there's meat in the middle. But here, it's a little different, it's a little different. These are actually like original mantou and they cut it in half and they make a little sandwich out of that. So there's only four bowels on the menu. We got the pork belly, Sichuan fried chicken, fish tempura. The last one I'm not gonna get, sloppy chan. You know what, I need some meat, so I'm gonna skip the vegetarian bao, but I'm getting the rest of the three. For the appetizers, I'm gonna get uh, drunken clams. I like my clams a little tipsy. What kind of sealed the deal to bring me here is the fact that they have ice cream bao. The drunken clams has arrived. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of alcohol in there. I feel like I'm getting drunk just by sniffing it. I smell a lot of good wine, Chaoxian wine, and uh, a lot of butter. That's a lot of alcohol, first of all. Secondly, those are really fresh clams. Oh, I didn't see this. On the bottom, it looks like enoki mushrooms and mashed potatoes. Never had booze in my mashed potatoes before, but that's pretty darn good. They have what's called Hey, white hot sauce. Put that a little bit on the clams. God did it. Oh, that's awesome. My first time eating clams, hot sauce, and mashed potatoes. Mm, that's a beautiful marriage right there. You can definitely tell it's more like a Cantonese flavoring. It's not overly seasoned. It's just, you can taste the freshness of the clam. If I get the bao and dip it in this, that might be pretty good. You guys ever just drink butter? That's basically what I'm doing right now. This is a little intimidating. The size of this is, is pretty monstrous. These are nice big drumsticks and they're smothered. Smothered in some sort of hot sauce. Whoa! That spice is hitting me. Definitely not gonna burn you. And 100%, a lot of peppercorn in here. There's a strong taste of regular Chinese uh, chili powder. That's the type that I typically make hot oil with. So it's almost like I'm eating hot oil fried chicken. And there's a hint of sweetness to this. And I've been trying to figure it out. So I asked him and it's peanut butter. There's peanut butter in this chicken. Just show me, just skippy peanut butter in the fried chicken. Combine that with some peppercorn, spices. It's like I'm eating a Sichuan dish right now, except for, you know, it's on a drumstick and it has peanut butter in it. I just figured out what my hot chicken really needs more hot sauce. I know you guys are watching this thinking, how can you put more hot sauce on hot chicken? Well, I'm kind of crazy like that. Final appetizer, truffle fries. And this is not any truffle fries I've seen before. I actually had truffle fries yesterday. What it looked like was some mayo and fries and Parmesan cheese. Pickled daikons, fried onions, truffle mayo, shiitake mushrooms. Whoa. The truffle is strong within this baby. Oh, that mushroom is insane. Wow. They don't spare truffles when making this. They knock this out of the park. This is insanely good. Now let's try truffle fries with hot sauce. Sensing a trend here, guys? Laugh if you want. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Bao has arrived. Pork belly, leek, red onion salad, sesame dressing, hoisin ketchup. It's a little bigger than a, than a slider but it's definitely more substantial. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. This has got some nice substance to it. It's sweet, it's like a mantel, grilled mantel. Sweet, beautiful texture. The sauce will soak into the mantel and you take a bite. That's where the awesomeness comes in. The sauce is able to soak in to the bao. Mm. Holy sesame. Nice taste of sesame sauce. Nice fatty pork belly in here, really tender. I love how this is like really fancied up. This is actually like, I mean back in China, I'm eating a mantel with like a pork belly inside. This I'm really looking forward to. Satay beef ball, enoki mushrooms, pineapple, and what looks like uh, some spice in there, some pickled onions. 
That's a tender burger. Never have I had enoki mushrooms in a burger before. If you like sauté beef, you're gonna like the sauté beef ball. Chicken bao. This thing's like a taser, it's gonna numb you. A lot of Sichuan peppercorn in here. Black vinegar glaze, which I see on the bottom. Sichuan mayo, and a big hearty piece of chicken with coleslaw on top. Take a bow. There you go, don't be shy. This is another reason I hate this stupid little folding bows. How much meat can you really fit in there if you're folding? Normally, when you bite into something, you get a big taste of peppercorn. Typically, it's not a good thing because usually you're biting into the peppercorn and your mouth is gonna go numb. But here, this is really awesome. It's really numbing. Wow. Mayo's a little sweet. Black vinegar glaze, a bit sweet. Provides a little acidity to this ball. This is probably my favorite so far. Kind of like eating sweet and sour fried chicken that's somehow cooked with peppercorn and citron spices and put between a ball. If you love the numbing flavors of citron dishes, you're gonna love this ball. My last savory ball, and basically as much as I can handle right now, fish. And I never had any fashion of fish ball before. It's made with Timurin palm sugar glaze, lemongrass fennel salad. This is definitely the lightest of the ball family. Fish, super fresh, very crispy, very light. This reminds me of tansu yu, which is uh, sugar, Chinese vinegar, fish. It's got a nice sweet and sour glaze, it's got a nice crunchiness of the fish. Tender, crispy, sweet, sour, beautiful. Final ball. And we go from savory to sweet. And this is a, I, I, wanna, I wanna take it home and just cuddle it. This is how tiny it is, how small it is compared to the other ball. There's two different uh, ice cream balls. One is green tea. I got something um, different. This is a uh, Hong Kong milk tea ice cream with uh, coffee caramel. Because I'm in Hong Kong, so I figure Hong Kong milk tea ice cream is appropriate. Look at this little thing. I just wanna just like, you know, baby it, you know, read it a bedtime story and tuck it into bed. On the other side, of course, it's a fried ball, but it's a mini fried ball. That tastes so good and I feel so bad. First of all, I destroyed a pretty looking little ball. And this thing, this is decadent. This is basically an ice cream donut sandwich. Alright, that's it. No more. I am I'm stuffed up to here with a ball. I'm turning into a ball right now. So today I tried every ball on their menu except for the vegetarian. Got the truffle fries, drunken clam, and the hot chicken. Here's my favorites. Favorite app, I would say truffle fries for sure, but not that much above uh, the drunken clam, which has such a nice, fresh, clammy flavor to it. When it comes to the bao, I feel like my favorite is the chicken because it has a nice, spicy, peppery flavor to it. Second favorite, I think, is the uh, pork belly. And then I would say it's the uh, satay beef, and then finally the fish. It's got a nice, light, fresh fish flavor to it. So if you're just kind of in the mood for something like a, like a lighter side of the bao, then that's what you get. Overall, I think this place is really awesome. I do have to say, it's not cheap, okay? Each bao is 88 Hong Kong dollars, which US, that's uh, it's about $12 a bao. But I do feel like it's very meticulously made, and the flavor profile goes way beyond that of a typical bao that you'll find in New York. So I would say, if you love bao and you're in Hong Kong, definitely give this place a try. It's a small place, like we're all sitting kind of like either on the bar, by the bar, or by the wall. It fits maybe like uh, 20 or so people in here. So we got in early, so there wasn't that many people. I read the reviews. Often there's a line out the door. I'll put all their information in my description box. And do not forget to add your hot sauce right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.